Hey, I just wanted to go. What? You know my YouTube. It's you have it on the computer. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to go over uh, basic Brian uh, flowcharts or like not flowcharts, but uh, a parry setup that I see Brian use a lot. Uh, just to get it out of the way. Oftentimes, just straight up after uh, what's it called? Uh, orbital. She'll he'll parry. But uh, not a lot of time to parry. But if you uh, aren't super fast with it. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, even if you do a uh, mash jab, you will get parried after orbital. Good to know. But if you do a slower move, you can launch it. Learning all sorts of stuff. All right, let's see. After down four, two, one. He will often go into a parry as well. Same thing, same rules, can't jab him. Can't down forward one. Oh, can't even down forward two him. So this is a lot better. Uh, so what ha often you do, you just duck that for one. Let's see if I can get the... Okay, can't. I'm not good with the Kuma, but you get the idea. Duck that. Look out for it. Uh, you should be able to do it on reaction. But uh, at the same time, you also. Whoops! I uh, don't eat it in the face. But you can also just bait it out. And then, of course, you can also uh, do all sorts of kicks and whatnot. So. As long as you look out for it, you should be fine. One of the scrubbier ways to do it is after this move here. It's minus 10, so you can punish it. But a lot of people will be too slow and end up jabbing and... Yep, I was just a little slow there, and I ended up getting parried. But yeah. Get that punish. But yeah, if you're a little slow, you'll get hit. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you very much.